In today's beginner iOS developer video, we're talking all about the UI navigation controller. Now, navigation controllers are a core component into how most apps navigate from screen to screen. And in this video, we're going to talk about, you know, what they are, how they work, uh, how to build a basic one, and then also how to customize it to fit the look and feel within your app. So here we are in Xcode, just a blank project. I haven't done any pre-existing setup, just file new. Here we are, blank view controller. Now, what a navigation controller does is, and this confused me when I first started out. Actually, let me get it on the screen and then I'll explain it to you and it'll make more sense. So in order to put this view controller into a navigation controller, you do editor and then embed in and then navigation controller. And then you'll see on the screen here, navigation controller pops up, there you go. What confused me when I was beginning is that for some reason I thought like the navigation controller like was a screen in and of itself. Uh, Cause you know, if you look at this storyboard, it does kind of look like a screen, but in reality, you don't ever see the navigation controller. It's just a container that holds view controllers. A good uh, analogy that I like to use is picture it like a deck of playing cards. And imagine each playing card is a screen in your app, right? So the navigation controller holds this stack of cards, which is a stack of screens. And anytime you push a new screen onto the stack, that is you navigating to a new screen. And then when you tap that back button, imagine you're just popping off the top card and revealing the screen underneath. You'll see in this animation here, when you hit back, you see it slides off the screen. Again, just imagine that sliding off the top of the stack and revealing the screen underneath. So again, the navigation controller is a container that holds a stack of screens. And as you navigate through your app, you're pushing new screens on top of the stack. And when you go back, you're popping that screen off the stack. So let's build this basic view controller and that should make a lot more sense once you see it in action. So by embedding this basic view controller in a navigation controller, this is the very bottom screen of our stack, also called the root view controller. So we have our root view controller. Now let's add another view controller to the navigation hierarchy so that we can have another screen to go to. So you can hit this plus button up here and type in view controller, there you go. Drag it onto the storyboard. So you see now we have two screens. Let me zoom out a bit to give a, a better picture here. And now that we have two, let's customize them a bit so we can see the difference. So on the view controller we just added, if you hit the right pane here, that might've been up by default. I hid mine so you could see it. Um, in this view controller, if you hit the view, now we can customize this view. So here in background, go to, let's give it system pink on this one. And on this first one, go to view again, background color, let's go to system teal. So we have a teal and pink. Now you'll notice, you see a nav bar at the top of, of the teal one because that's in the navigation controller. You can see the segue for the root view controller here. But the pink view controller doesn't have that because it's not attached to our navigation controller yet. It's just kind of floating out there. So we need to attach it. But first let's create files to attach these view controllers to. So file, uh, new file, or you can do command N, Cocoa Touch class, it's going to be a view controller. So let's make a teal view controller, hit next, create it. And then uh, same thing, I'll do uh, command N here to get a new file. Now we're gonna create the pink view controller. Uh, that way we have uh, our code attached to each view controller. I'll move that up there a bit. So uh, let's give these uh, view controllers titles. So in the pink one, title, and this, is, this will show up in the navigation controller. You'll see here in a second when we run it. So title equals pink screen and in the teal view controller same thing title equals and then the string teal screen all right back to our storyboard and slide this over so now let's actually attach that code to the view controller to do that this may be review for uh, for some of you click on your view controller and then in the identity inspector this little id card looking icon you click on that and instead of it being a view controller you want to make it teal view controller and then same thing, click on the pink view controller and instead of, uh, well, nothing, make it pink view controller. So that attaches our code to that actual screen. Uh, now we need to create a button on our teal view controller that will actually go to the pink one. And by connecting those two screens, it'll make the pink view controller part of our navigation controller. So again, hit the plus button up here, type in button and drag that onto the teal view controller. I'll go ahead and zoom back in again. Now let's constrain this down here in the right, the alignment, I'm gonna do horizontal, center, vertical, uh, basically center and horizontally and vertically, add those two constraints. And then we're gonna make this a width of 200 and a height of 50, just kind of arbitrary there. And let's style this button real quick. So click on the button and then here in the attributes inspector of the button, uh, let's say go to pink, that's the title of the button. 
we can make the text color white and we're going to make it a uh, bold font here and also make it a little bit bigger we'll do 20 size 20 and go down to background color and make the background uh, system pink so that's where we're going we're going to the pink screen that's all we need there so now in order to connect these screens, you need a segue in between them when you're using storyboards. So if you click on the button and then control and drag to this screen uh, and then let go, you'll see show or present modally, all this stuff. This creates the segue. So by clicking show, that puts it into the navigation controller and it will slide on top of the stack like we talked about before. Something a lot of people mess up uh, when they're beginning is sometimes they'll accidentally present it modally. So if you're in a navigation controller, and you see your screen slide up from the bottom, like you see in this animation here, uh, that means it's being presented modally and it is not part of your navigation controller. If you see it slide in uh, from the side, that means it's being pushed, that is part of your navigation controller. So that is a key thing that people mess up. Um, you know, they present it modally and then they're confused why it's not part of their navigation controller. So make sure you hit show here, because that's what will push it onto the stack. And as you can see, as soon as I did that, we get the nav bar up here indicating that, hey, this is part of our navigation controller now. So let's run this and see what we got so far. And we're gonna customize it after this. Uh, so you see here, there's the nav bar. Doesn't really look that great. That's why we're gonna customize it. Um, and then you hit go to pink and pink screen, teal screen. Again, not the best looking. So we have the basics of it working. Like I said, the navigation controller is holding our teal screen, which is our root view controller. And then when we hit go to pink, it pushes the pink screen on top of that stack. Again, remember that deck of cards. And then when you tap back, you're just sliding that top card off the deck and revealing what's underneath. And you can see it slide out like that. So that is how navigation controllers work. And of course, this example only has two screens. You could have 10, 20, 30 screens on this navigation controller. Might not be the best navigation for your app, but it's possible. Um, so that is the basics of UI navigation controller. Let's actually customize this thing to get it looking good. And the first thing we're gonna do is large titles. Like you don't really see navigation bars like this nowadays. Um, Apple has gone to this large title look. So how we can do that is uh, in the navigation controller, click on that, cause that's what we wanna customize. You're gonna see an item called navigation bar. So, and you see this little bar here. This is what we wanna customize. So over here on the right, you see this checkbox, prefer large titles, click on that. And then now when we run it, you're gonna see we get the large titles. We're gonna do this step by step. So bam. There's the large titles. That's the more modern uh, looking app, right? Go to pink, we get the large titles. Now, this default blue looks really ugly on that pink. And then this black, maybe you like the black. Um, I think white might look a little better. We're going for this little like pastel colored Easter vibe kind of thing. So let's change this stuff to white to really round off the look of our pretty basic app here. So let's stop this. And again, in the navigation bar, you can see large title text attributes pretty straightforward text color let's make it white and then down here tint is what changes the back button color so you see the tint is the default blue we're going to go ahead and make that white as well so run it again to see what we got should be looking looking better there you go uh white large titles go to pink now you see our back button is white our, our title's white looks a lot better than it used to one last bit of customization though is this back button you know maybe you don't want it to say teal screen maybe you want just a, a different name or something like that so stop that now each view controller if you click on it will have a navigation item and you can see it's got a little back uh, arrow kind of indicating what it is so you see here back button you can change the title to whatever you want um so i'm just going to name it sean just to illustrate that you can name it whatever you want um you know maybe you just wanted it to say teal and not teal screen but go to pink now it says back to Sean. So you can customize that back button in the navigation bar to be what you want. And then maybe you just want that nice clean look. You may think you can just delete that, have nothing there. That will actually give you the default value. It'll say teal screen. So what I do is I hit space and then uh, return to give it a space. And now that will give us the blank back button. There actually might be a better way to do that, but I found that to be pretty simple. So now if I hit go to pink, now you get a nice clean, uh, just a simple back button. So there you go, our UI navigation controller with large titles, custom, uh, looking pretty good. So that's the basics of UI navigation controller. Uh, if you enjoyed my teaching style, check out the link on the screen. I've started creating my own courses. I got beginner course and a more advanced course that gets you ready for a job. Anyway, we'll see you in the next video.